वेलकम माय डियर अक्षयंस हाय चिल्ड्रन हाउ आर यू ऑल हेलो एवरीबॉडी आर यू हैप्पी एट होम आर यू सेइंग स्टेइंग सेफ एट होम ओके चिल्ड्रन से टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आई मीन स्टार्ट कंटिन्यू एंड वी आर गोइंग टू फिनिश दिस लेसन दैट इज चैप्टर 2 इन हिस्ट्री new kings and the kingdoms okay see in this we have i uh, mean a short recap okay see first what we have learned in this uh, new kings and kingdoms of uh, uh, emergence of uh, kings okay and the kingdoms uh, during the 7th and mid 18th century sorry 8th century okay right see emergence of the new dynasties uh, what we have learned in this uh, first topic emergence of new dynasties and how i mean administration of those newly emerged dynasties okay next prashastis okay see prashastis special kind of inscription that praised about to the kings those prashastis were written by the scholars well i mean a person who knows to write and read okay and by the brahmanas got it for this i mean a land uh, i mean a lands were given to the donated to the brahmanas by the king so next topic actually warfare for wealth okay so to target the wealthy area for example large temples war conflict happened among the different dynasties okay so next actually what we have learned in this lesson we have studied about the from urayu to tanjavur from urayu to tanjavur so what we have learned in this from urayu to tanjavur see vijayalaya king okay so vijayalaya i mean a chiefly family who captured the kaveri deltoic region from the i mean um, what muttaraya actually muttaraya was a subordinate of pallava king okay so vijayalaya captured the kaveri delta and he built the city of tanjavur and he built a temple for the nishamba sudini okay goddess nishamba sudini okay and he started extending the territory of his i mean a chola dynasty and we have studied about the raja raja chola and his achievements and followed by rajendra chola okay so i mean rajendra chola was i mean is a son of raja raja chola okay so we have studied about the achievements in the field of i mean a literature uh, a social economic and culture and splendid temples and bronze statues okay so they are i mean uh, cholas bronze statues as sculptures with distinctive okay eminent one special one unique one okay it, it was a best achievement in their uh, i mean uh, dynasty rule ruling period okay next we have studied about their contribution towards the agriculture and irrigation so today what we are going to learn the administration of the empire see we have studied that from the vijayalaya in the chola dynasty from the vijayalaya and his successors his followers raja raja chola and rajendra chola see they have extended the territories they have extended the territories from south even they tried to capture sri lanka they captured the andaman and nicobar islands which are situated in the uh, bay of bengal okay in the north side they i mean rajendra chola who captured uh, the ganga valley okay so that's why he got he gained the title of gangai gonda chola okay right see all i mean they have extended the chola dynasty from north to south they captured the region from the cheras dynasty and from the pandyas dynasty and also from the pallavas dynasty okay so now we are going to study how they i mean uh, how the administration process are done in that period okay so how they looked all the areas their dynasty actually which was vast large very big in size how they administered all those areas how the administration process are done perfectly in their dynasty okay see children see 
a settlements of peasants okay settlements of peasants so like a peasants means what smaller farmers so settlements of smaller farmers were known as ar okay ar ar ur okay ur got it children listen and these people became a prosperous a prosperous means what well the richest person okay because of the irrigated agriculture see they have constructed lot of tanks pond i mean they are dug well see because of this irrigation irrigational facility agriculture flourished in the year country in the year dynasty so these smaller farmers they become a prosperous rich wealthiest persons okay so and the group of villages okay group of villages called nade group of villages called nade okay so they performed the administrative functions okay they performed the administration functions even i mean uh, dispensing uh, a judgement okay when the people are coming with a different problems uh, conflict between the neighbors uh, all these uh, problems away get settled got settled in by the simon mean, administrative i mean uh, by the sanado i mean uh, now we are telling no panchayat likewise uh, many villages uh, together they formed a nod and they had some i mean uh, headmen they have elected some richest farmers okay peasants land owners who is owning large acres of land those people were appointed as a central i mean a head for those nod and that person dispenses that person gave judgment to the people who approached their i mean um, committee they who approached their committee with the problems okay children next actually in the well all caste well all okay well all in the sense those people were the owners of large acres of land in that okay so here actually well all played a supervisor role here supervisor in the sense of children see they controlled the nadu see so many groups of villages we called nadu right a group of villages called nadu likewise so many nadus are there right so these well all committee well all caste people actually they controlled this i mean they supervised the central chola government okay and king also gave them some titles okay king also gave them such a rich land owners a titles like a move in the valen okay move in the valen in the sense of valen means a peasants okay farmers valen means what farmers who is serving for three kings who is serving three kings that's why move in the valen okay next actually rir okay all these titles were given by the chola to those i mean a person who is supervising and controlling the nadu okay right ma i mean uh, markers of respect and interested i mean those people were appointed as a important officers okay and uh, for the state and also for the center okay children children please take the page number 26 in your history book listen types of land there is a box types of land see chola inscriptions mention several categories of land see valen bagai okay valen bagai in the sense a land of non brahmana peasant pramina uh, pro i mean uh, proprietors got it see valen bagai in the sense see land holding by the non brahmins land owned by the non brahmins next one is a brahmadeya brahmadeya in the sense land gifted to brahmins okay next actually shala bog uh, shala boga shala boga actually land for the maintenance of school see paad shala shala means what school right so la I mean shala boga in the sense land for the maintenance of a school next actually devadana next what what did i say 
தேவதானாம் சி திருநாம திருநாமாட்டுக்கணி திருநா மாட்டுக்கணி லேண்ட் கிஃப்ட் டு த டெம்பிள் சி தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் த டிஃபரண்ட் கைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் லேண்ட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லேண்ட் ஓன்ட் பை த நான் பிராமின்ஸ் லேண்ட் கிஃப்ட் டு த பிராமின்ஸ் லேண்ட் டொனேட்டட் ஃபார் த மெயின்டெனன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்கூல் அண்ட் லேண்ட் கிஃப்ட் டு டெம்பிள்ஸ் அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன்னஸ் பள்ளி சந்தம் ஓகே பள்ளி சந்தம் லேண்ட் டொனேட்டட் டு ஜெயினா இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ லேண்ட்ஸ் வேர் ஐ மீன் நோன் வித் டிஃபரெண்ட் டைட்டல்ஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் இட்ஸ் பர்பஸ் ஓகே சில்ட்ரன் ரைட் ஸோ ஐ மீன் லேண்ட்ஸ் ஐ மீன் கிஃப்ட் டு பிராமின்ஸ் ரைட் லேண்ட்ஸ் கிஃப்ட் டு பிராமின்ஸ் வி ஐ மீன் வி ஹவ் சீன் தட் பிராமின்ஸ் ஆஃபன் ரிசீவ்ட் வி ஹவ் ஸ்டடிட் இன் த பிரஷாஸ் டேஸ் சப் டைட்டல் லேண்ட்ஸ் ஐ மீன் ஆஃபன் kings donated land to the brahmins right so that is i mean a land gifted to the brahmins that is known as a brahmadeya so as a result what happened large i mean acres of land owned by the brahmins okay so they started to get settling in the kaveri valley kaveri deltaic region in the south part south india okay next each brahmadeya was looked after by an assembly or see brahmadeya actually land gifted to brahmins right so these brahmins they started forming an association okay association means a sabha okay so sabha i mean here the prominent brahmins land holders who is owing a large acres of land uh, land who learned the vedas who is experienced to one so those persons i mean uh, uh, elected as a chief i mean a head of this sabha okay this assembly this war i mean assembly worked i mean efficiently children their decisions were recorded what were the decision that they are taking in their association those decisions were recorded in the inscriptions okay so often the stone i mean inscriptions on the stone walls i mean a walls of the temple pillar everything i mean a brahmins recorded all their decisions in their shabhas okay and traders also have an association okay so next actually inscriptions from uttira merur in chengalpattu district that gives details the way the which the nadu was organized okay sabha had a separate committee the brahmins uh, associations are they no they had a separate committees that will look after the irrigation box <clears throat> because i mean um, kings donated land to the brahmins right so for taking care of look after all those i mean land they had a separate committee for their irrigation box one is a garden temple and they have recruited separate persons next actually names of those eligible to be members of these committees were written see how they elected the person members of their committee in the sense see those names of people who wanted to be a member in this committee where their names were written on a leaf okay that was put into a earthen pot and they they called the child the names which were picked out by the child the i mean that person will be a member in that committee okay right <clears throat> asay children please take your book page number 27 inscriptions and text okay inscription and text see who could be a member of a shabha who could be a member of a shabha the uttara merur inscription lays down okay so this inscription actually uttara merur where it is situated in the sengalpattu district okay so there we can see this inscription all these instruction okay see all those who wish to become a members of of the shabha should be owners of the land okay all those persons should be the owner of the land which the land revenue is collected or i mean regularly they have to pay tax revenue okay they should have their own home okay they should i mean they should be a owner of i mean uh, their house they should have their own home next they should 
be between 35 years to 70 years of age and that person should have a knowledge of Vedas. Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, Adarvana Veda. If the person wanted to become a member in the, in the Brahmins Association, he must know, I mean, acknowledged with the Veda. Alright children? Okay. So, they should be well versed in administrative matters and harnessed. They should be harnessed. Okay. See, if a person was a member in a particular committee continuously for three years, again he cannot take part, I mean, as a member in any other committee. Okay, children. So, this is how we have learnt and we have completed this lesson. Please go through the entire lesson. Please read slowly, understand the concept. We must learn because we Tamil and Tamilians must know how the Chola dynasty originated. Okay, we must learn this history children as a Tamil people. Okay, thank you all.